Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Nice exterior gate that I made for a project in Malibu. It's not right next to the ocean, but it's a couple of blocks. So there's a corrosion issue as the got a MTEC uh, um, keypad entry lock that uh, is taking a beating. So um, in the future, I'll probably go with something more durable in exterior applications. But I think we've talked about this before. But right now, I've got a just a regular spring with the, the, the nut that you adjust on top. To, as a closure mechanism, but there's a bunch of teenagers there, and the door just slams every single time. It's just beating the crap out of it. And so uh, looking for a, a smooth door closure mechanism that's appropriate for exterior. And the way it's built, it's a pretty wide opening. It's, the gates are just shy of five feet wide. Um, there's two of them. And uh, anyways, there's they're just set on posts. There's no header portion of a jam. So um, what would be an ideal closure mechanism for that situation? And the gateway is probably would be ideal. 100. What's that? A floor closer would be ideal. A floor one. Okay. And these are set on uh, uh, these bullet hinges, the weld on ones. So it's basically a lift off hinge mechanism. Um, I don't know that that would come into play at all, but um, what... It would, uh, it would very much could very much come into play. Oh, good, good. Okay. Good to know. So I've got about, um, I would say, two an inch and a half, two inches clearance uh, underneath. So is that even in the neighborhood for the floor one to work? Yeah. I mean, you might have to Modify the bottom of your gate structure, um, or and or order a longer bottom spindle. Um, the issue is that the vertical axis of pivoting of the closer arm has to be thoroughly um, plumb with your hanging device. So those hinges are probably going to be a problem. They're they're definitely going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean they're centered pretty good. I usually make up a jig so that they're totally plumb with each other. I mean, it's the tiniest deflection on a big barrel hinge and you're screwed. It's a mess. Uh, I'm, I'm going more now with piano hinges just to make life easy. Um, so, yeah, what's the part number on that? I'll have a glance at that. And if that's going to be temperamental or if there's a possibility of that failing at some point or going out of adjustment, maybe there's a second choice. There's um, not, and and a floor closer would last decades. Oh, good. If I dial it in correctly in the first place, it should work fine, right? Oh yeah, no, this is common. Uh, floor closers. People call me up with gates that need to be self-closing, and they don't want just a bomber surface spring, uh, black you know gate spring on there. Yeah, yeah, floor, floor closers. Um, you know, you, you get a sealed body. You get the right sort of. Um, size uh, that you're looking for. The answer to the question is anything in the Rickson catalog. You know, the Rickson book is going to be full of floor closers. Um, Got it. Okay. You know. Anyone come to mind in particular you suggest? Well, I mean, there's um, there's different series, and all that you're going to look at is how heavy is my gate, and how how. Um, and whether or not it's single or double acting. And when you look at that section of the floor closers, you'll quickly find the proper part number. There, there are thin models, and then there are the standard models, like the 27, uh, et cetera. Um, it, would, it would be uh, a, let's see, uh, so you, uh, I think you said your, the gate's about 150 pounds? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so let's take a look. Okay, floor closers. Okay. 
So a 27, you know, is the is the standby workhorse that's going to do the job um, okay. for a single acting. They have thin models as well, meaning the bodies aren't as deep, and they are uh -huh. definitely lighter duty. And those would be a model. Those are overhead. Okay. Offset, offset, and the issue is they, you know, every year they issue a new catalog, and they've just recently done so, so I don't know where the section is, but I found it. So okay. a model 51 would, well, that's, you're not going to get that as a, as, a, as a sealed body. Let's take a look. SC. Yep. Keyword Rick, Rickson floor closure. It doesn't come up on the website. Yeah, you want to just get to the Rickson catalog. Um, if you go to the manufacturer's link, um, and then Control F for Rickson, and then you'll be able to pull up their product catalog. Okay. Um, nothing comes. Uh, maybe it's my computer, but I, in your search box, I type in Rickson, and nothing uh -huh. comes up. Is it R I spelled? R I X S O N. That's why. <laughs> so the you said twenty seven, and then you also said fifty two. There's a fifty one. The issue with the the thin bodies, I don't know if we could do a sealed, um, if we could do a sealed body on that series of lighter duty ones. Uh, okay. And I'm pulling up now to see if that's an option. Okay, so on the shallow depth. Oh, okay, and these these are all over a grand, so. Oh, big I money. Might, yeah, I might have to stop right there. Is there oh, okay. anything under five hundred bucks in the way of a closure? Nothing that I can think of. Okay, all right. No, I mean not without, you know, um, Percomatic has, you know, not without changing your design. You know, changing the, the structure to fit, you know, some sort of a concealed closer into it. Like uh, if you've ever seen a sauce concealed closer, they've got their 216, 218, 220 hinges. They make those in self-closing versions. Um, uh -huh. the, the issue is you don't want spring control. You want hydraulic control. And that's where, right. you're, you know, you're into a situation where you've got to deal with some sort of a closer. Yeah. I did hear you say Malibu. Yes. Yeah. So, um, getting the close, getting the closer to work right in an exterior environment near the ocean, you know, you'll have to have a sealed body. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. you're, they're they're big money. They're they're big money. And but when you look at it over the period of five decades, our record is 120 years in terms of one being original that we've rebuilt. So if you divide that by 50 years, you know, it's a cup of coffee, you know, uh, kind of yeah. money. But I, but you, you, what you're saying is, of course, most relevant. I'm saying long-term, not only is it the absolute perfect uh, solution, it's one that will be there with the house. The owners, the third owners after these folks will enjoy that closer. Okay. So it's definitely worth it. It's It's a well, I, he's already seen what a five hundred dollar uh, keypad entry lock goes through, and you know, yeah. cheap gets yeah. expensive because you're constantly replacing. Huh. It. Uh, well said. Yeah. So okay, and then what's the part number on this one again? Because I'm my computer's really old and dumb and slow. I've got let's see, uh, the Rickson fifty one oh three offset shallow depth. Um, yeah, I guess you, you can you it. can do any of those, uh, and they can because they will do a sealed closer option on those shallow depths. So what I'm looking at there, that plate, is that going to be visible bolted to the ground or uh, the concrete slab in this case? 
yes, unless you came up with some sort of, you know, when they install those in, you know, some sort of uh, flooring conditions, they will, you can order, and I'm not sure what the shallow depth, but you can order what's called a terrazzo pan. So you sink, mm -hmm. sink that entire body deeper, and then you've got mm -hmm. that pan that gives you the ability to have your finish, your floor, and the finish of the floor continue through the opening on a, on interrupted. Oh, cool. So you can totally hide the thing. Cause then you this, can go this, very close to it. Yes, sir. Okay. So what I'm looking at here, um, it appears basically like the, the you know, the door closers that I, that I remember from my elementary school, you know, big hydraulic brass thing on the header of the door. Pot bellies. Just, yes, sir. Yeah, this is just a very slick, very uh, compact inverted version of it. You have the same function of a closure mechanism. It's just on the ground instead of overhead. Yes, but no in two regards. Number one, they're substantially heavier duty, and mm -hmm. the pot bellies, you could not control them very well for the rate of close. Um, whereas today's modern closers, you can make it take two minutes for that thing to close, or you can have it close in two seconds. The old pot bellies did not have that spectrum of, of, of range. Uh, plus, right. they were not they were, they were not grade one closers. That's a grade one closer. That's you know, that's been tested to a million. That that that's met the criteria for a million cycles. Who knows when they pulled the plug on the machine that was testing the cycle that was that was running the cycle counter. Got it. Okay. Well, this this definitely looks like a bulletproof way to go here. Um, the issue well, is going to be your the position you're in of having to modify that floor, that ground, and that's yeah. the real. So that's problem one. Problem two. I'm pretty sure that the hinges you have on there will have to go away, or they'll have to get repositioned to be in the exact location that the floor closers template requires. Oh, oh, uh, you got to have that on the exact same vertical axis, and th yes, this will not work with a well done lift off in at all. Probably not. Um, okay. I mean, it would if it was if you had your vertical axis of pivoting copacetic, but that's the chance of that is, you know. Yeah, it's going to look weird too because it's outside. If, if this fit dead nuts underneath the gate. So if we had a typical uh, butt hinge and all the barrels lined up and we had this closure mechanism smack dab right underneath the bottom one, then we're good. But in, well, actually. Well, the, what you just said, you can have what you just said. With so the, with the ones would, that I. Mm -hmm. So you would go with what we call a center hung. You would remove your hinges that are there now, and then you would add a top pivot that would go, that would mount to the jam and hang over the top of the gate a little bit. Then your vertical axis of pivoting is down through the center of that door. Oh, so I lose the hinges entirely and just go with this top pivot. Yes, sir. I see. Okay. Well, that's a significant mod to do on this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, unfortunately. I'm, I'm completely reinventing the whole project. Um, I'll run it by them. I mean, it's, it's, they definitely have money and they like nice stuff but um you know there's a practicality aspect here that maybe i'll just have the tension on the existing spring just barely enough to have it click and close well um, what i would suggest that you do in that case is add one or two more because at that very critical last 10 degree you've lost all of your stored energy in that spring it's yeah. like a tugboat you know what i mean there's no torque left, put two more on there, lower the tension on all of them so that at that 10 degree, 10 to zero degree, you still got some residual stored torque. If you, you know, like there's oh, horsepower yeah. and torque. And if you've ever hit the gas on a 600 horsepower twin turbo vet, then you understand torque very well. Um, oh, it's yeah. what you feel in the back of your pants. Um, right. So I'm thinking you'll have some torque left over if you add more springs. Okay. That's a, that's a cool idea. Um, visually, I'm trying to picture two more springs and how that's <laughs> <Yeah. going. laughs> uh, But that's interesting. That's that's a you know if I were to do it over again, I would just mount three spring hinges and just set them to minimum. Right. 
Yes, sir. So, okay. Well, thanks again, Rich. You're a wealth of information. And uh, I always learn something every time we talk. As do I, sir. Thank you for calling. Great. Have a, have a great day. Appreciate it. You too, sir. Bye-bye. All right. Bye now. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.